Hey, what's going on guys? Go Mikey Games here. In this video we're gonna be applying Killer Move and History Move heuristics uh, to sort Quiet Moves within our chess engine. So, uh, first uh, let me show you the place where exactly Killer Moves are about to be stored. So every time this fail hard beta cutoff occurs we would be storing uh, our Killer Moves. But obviously, uh, most likely Killer, killer Moves uh, are to be captures. I consider it to be captures, while well, we would be taking in account only those of them that are actually quiet moves. And it happens from time to time that quiet move can produce a bit of cutoff as well. And another case is uh, when, uh, we, we, when every time we're finding the uh, principal variation node, so here where uh, score is greater than alpha, so we're just increasing our, the value of our alpha here, we, we would be storing the scores uh, for Mm, our history moves and uh, it, it would be done slightly bit different so here we're actually storing the moves well here we would be storing the scores but it's uh, it's really easier to show and implement rather than to explain so without further ado let's actually start writing some code so I would now like to go to my MVVLV section and just right below this MVVLV array I want to define the killer moves uh, two dimensional array so here we'll have the ID of the killer, so either first or second killer move, and here uh, the second index would be the ply. Uh, and I want to create the integer called killer moves, and the first value it would be two because we will have up to two killer moves, so first and the second killer move. And here the number of uh, the maximum the maximum the maximal number of plies uh, I will consider 64 here. If you consider this is a bit too little for you, you can you, you are free to increase this number. But uh, I think that for now it's just literally enough. And another array would be the history moves, and it would be two-dimensional array as well, where the first index is the uh, piece code, uh, and the second index is the board square. So here, uh, integer history moves. Uh, we can simply say so we need up to 12 elements here because we have 12 pieces 12 piece types and we have 64 squares as well so the next thing to consider would it be to uh, add uh, some lines of code to our score move function so by now we were scoring only captures in this section so here we also want to score um, our quiet moves so here we want to score first killer move and then we want to score second killer move and finally uh, we want to score history moves as well history move so I can simply say like if killer move and I'm referencing the first killer move indexed by zero uh, and the second index indexed by the current ply that we have within our current game, game state. So if it is equal to move, uh, in this case, I want to return the score of 9000. And one more little thing. So uh, if we do this just like this, the killer, the quiet killer moves would be ordered higher than the capture. So in order to avoid this, I would also like to add Ten thousand to my captures. So first we would have captures, then killer moves, and finally the history moves. So here we have almost the same stuff apart from uh, uh, we're testing, we're probing the second killer move, and we want to assign the value of eight thousand. So just less compared to uh, what we have uh, here for the first killer, and also this should be. Else if. And finally, uh, else, uh, we want to score uh, our history moves. So here I just return history score, uh, oh, sorry, history move. It's probably moves in plural. History, killer moves, history moves, moves, history moves. And here we want to get a piece from the move, so I say get move piece using this macro to get a piece code from the move, and here get move target 
because we want to get the target square from our move like this okay so this is it get move target yeah get move piece okay let's try to compile and run the code to make sure it still kind of works so make debug and if it compiles i want to run the bbc binary executable okay still works and the number of nodes from from the previous uh, uh run of our search so now guys i just want to show you uh how this uh uh you remember like from the previous part i didn't delete this code uh, to show you how in particular uh killer moves and history moves are about to be stored so uh let's just print the list one more time so here we have uh, unsorted version of captures and sorted version of captures and now i, I would also like to add some uh, killer moves and some quiet moves so uh i just want to make sure so after yeah probably after generating the moves uh i want to test uh, test killers and uh, well, let's say test killer moves and test history moves as well so here I would like to initialize killer moves so the first killer indexed by the ply which uh, at this uh, it doesn't matter how, how, how much how big ply is well now it should be zero uh, because it's initialized to the global variable and by default global variables are initialized to zero in C programming language well at least uh, assuming the GCC compiler uh, so it would be equal to let's take move list uh, move list moves and I just want to pick up some index uh, just just whatever move to make sure that it's not a capture well let's say one zero one two let's say uh, index of three uh, would it be the killer move so a two a four should be uh, assigned uh, the, should get assigned the value of nine thousands so three right zero one two three yeah so let's see it now should get assigned to the value of nine thousands okay and it is so here we got this unsorted and here it gets sorted and also let's try to make say three uh well let's try to make this one uh zero one two uh so let's try to say killer moves the second killer move indexed by the ply would be equal to move list uh moves and two like this so now this move a to a3 should be should be equal to eight thousands so consider it to be the second killer move obviously yeah it is so obviously i'm picking up these moves uh randomly they are not the killer move they're not about to be producing the bitter cutoffs in this position position i just want to show you how how the sorting works and how the resultant list would look like because it's not always that possible to see all the values like first killer so like captures first killer second killer and the history moves uh within the search so it's not it's not that trivial uh, i would show you that within the search as well but just want to give you an idea and now let's try to score let's say first move so index of zero and a couple more to some well uh, actually it's literally enough to score the very first move so uh just to test the history moves uh here i would like to say history moves and uh it would be equal to well say like 35 some 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 value that would be incremented as by in by adding the current depth to uh to the to the plot uh to but by adding the current uh, the current depth well, I'll, I'll just demonstrate you that uh, let, let's just take a constant for well it doesn't matter really that much what exactly we have there so uh here we want to get move piece and the move itself so move list 
moves and uh, well let's take the very first one and also here I want to get move target square and the same move and it should now assign v5 v6 to the value of 35 and put it uh, as the very last okay something got wrong get move piece uh, sorry get get move piece yeah so okay we got this 35 perfect so just make sure that it's the it's the quiet move so that's that's kind of it so we did we have it here and then after sorting we get this sort of a picture here well, okay yeah so i hope this is quite pretty clear and from now on we don't really need uh all this test stuff and without further ado i would like to start embedding this uh the storing of both killer and history moves to to our chess engine so let's let's go for it so i want to go to nigamax search and first uh so is this nigamax search right okay so here i want to store i want to store uh killer moves so uh killer moves just what we've been doing within the demonstration so killer moves, uh, so the first killer indexed by the fly would be equal to current move. So move list moves indexed by the count. And the second, and also we need to initialize the second killer. So the second killer, uh, killer moves. Now the second killer indexed by the fly would be equal to actually the first killer. So killer moves uh, first killer indexed by the fly. Okay, is it? Yeah, so the second killer should be equal to the value of the first killer. Okay. Uh, okay, so anyway, I just want to command this out for a while and so here is the number of nodes being traversed without ordering killer moves so 196703 and as far as I activate this sort of a stuff it now should get uh, last numbers okay so now we have 196672 six, seven, so it's not really uh, that significant number of killer moves uh, to be saved so in order to give you uh, an idea like where this might work so we have this specific killer position uh, and well don't we just we can just make it like this so killer position and let's go to nigamax search and again like let's switch this off I just want to show you the example with a position that contains more killer moves compared to this one so without uh, killer heuristics we have 99379 and with the killer heuristics we should get less and 986687 uh, so it's really kind of less uh, nose being traversed so, so it's kind of you, you can feel this so it's kind of 1000 less compared to here so it's, it's, it's not that big compared to ordering captures but still this is this is something so just to give you an idea so this depends on the position well, this particular position has uh, quiet moves producing beta cutoffs so that's kind of it and at the very end i just want to get back to my tricky position save and then go back to nigamax search uh run the search again so this would be the number of nodes we're assuming that we have only killer heuristics and now let's connect our uh, history move heuristics as well so here i want to store store history history moves okay and yeah, I uh, just want to say history, 
history moves and here we want to get move piece from the current move oh just just lost my buffer so let's make it again let's do it again so this is the current move and here i want to get move target square and the current move and here what i've been mentioning i'm just saying plus equals depth and that's it so we're using this current depth uh as as a number to mm, to to give a value to history moves indexed by piece to move and the target square it's about to go that's that that's the idea of the technique and if and if i did everything correctly it should give less nodes from now on so we had okay so we had 196 and now we have 192 so it's gonna 3000 less right i'm not good at math i'm sorry guys well at least you can see that we just did save some nodes which is already kind of quite pretty good but obviously it's not yet kind of it and there are some more techniques to apply in order to well actually reduce this number even more and we're supposed to be having a look at those techniques in the further videos uh, i'm not sure but probably within the next video we uh, we'll implement the logic to collect the principal variation like uh, the best moves for every site like e2 e4 e7 e5 knight uh, f1 to line g1 to f3 knight b1 to c5 if we, was, if we start from the initial position and so on just to give an idea like uh, the, like uh, the line calculated by the engine looks like and then uh, we will apply and then we will apply uh, sorting also kind of uh, PV moves. So those that so so we would we would be searching principal variation moves first, and we will score them higher even higher than captures uh, within our uh, score move function uh, here. So here we will add a logic to score. Uh, principal variation moves uh, to give to give them the, the highest score and we will also implement the iterated dipping that uh, would increase the performance even more and respectively reduce the number of nodes and uh, uh, I will explain uh, how this how and why exactly this is about to be working within the next videos in this bitboard chess engine in C series. Well, okay, guys, so this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, learned something interesting out of this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next parts. Until that time, and take care.